Hello and welcome to C++11 Beginner Tutorials by Gamer to Creator. I'm Chris. Well, first thing we need to do in order to start writing code is to make some source code files. These are really just text files with a special extension .cpp. So we're going to create one. Right click on source files near Solution Explorer. Click add new item. Make sure CPP file is selected and enter main.cpp. You could technically name this anything that you want as long as it has the CPP extension. Click add and now we have our main.cpp source file. I'm going to type in some basic, a very basic application. If you guys fall behind, just pause the video and catch up. So here we have our basic Hello World application. All this does is print Hello World to the console. As you can see, this is the console, and there's our Hello World printed out. Let's break this down. First, every application that you will ever create will have a main function. If you're doing Win32, it might be WinMain, but still it's a main function and it will be called by the operating system. This is where your program starts. And when this function ends, so does your program. On this line, the return statement ends the function. And it returns the value of zero. More on this later. So the interesting part in this application is this line. C out means console out. To get access to the console, we must include IO stream at the top of the file. This includes the code for in out streaming, which includes the console in and console out. These are in a namespace called STD, which is just sort of like a folder, if you will, by uh, using an ID. These would technically be std colon colon cub and std colon colon cn. So if I took this line out, it would still work. But it's much prettier if you leave this using statement in there. All that does is it imports what's in the std namespace. But we're going to leave it like this because it's much prettier and easier to read. So, on this line, we use our account, C out, which we got from the IO stream, and we push to it, hello world. So we send this string between these double quotes to the console. And once we do that, we must end our statement with a semicolon. As you can see, every statement ends with a semicolon. And uh, this line, send.get, waits for the user to input a character, and then it returns. If we didn't have this, it wouldn't even wait for us to be able to read it. It would pop up way too fast and go away. So you have to tell the program to, hey, wait. You can do it like this with send.get, and there are some other ways that you can do this. We'll get into those later. So here you have your Hello World application. In the next video, we're going to break it down even further 
and uh, start adding some more functionality to make it more useful.